What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Comic Book Nerd, where we talk everything in movies and major television news. We're going to go ahead and jump right into today's video, which is DC's Slate Breakdown. We're going to talk about the upcoming movies for this year and next year. And then we will break down the DCU announcements from James Gunn himself. Talk about DCU Chapter 1, which is going to be called Gods and Monsters. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Obviously, we're trying to build this channel up and starting directly from scratch with the comic book nerd. So let's just hop right into it. Shazam 2, releasing in theaters March 17th, 2023. This is gonna, going to be a sequel to the highly entertaining Shazam 1. And I cannot wait to see what they do with Shazam going forward in the DCU. Are they keeping Zachary Levi or are they not? We won't know until James Gunn announces it. So there you have it. Shazam 2 releases in theaters on March 17th, 2023. Which is this Friday, by the way. Moving on is The Flash, which is releasing June 16th, 2023. We got the first two trailers for The Flash. I think they're done giving out trailers for this film. I can't wait for this film. I'm going to be so stoked. Supergirl is going to be in this film. Michael Keaton's Batman is, is going to be in this film. Ben Affleck's Batman also in this movie as well. Those are confirmed. Rumored to have George Clooney and, all, and Christian Bale's Batman as well. Can't wait to see if those are true as well. And also rumored to have Grant Gustin appear as the Flash from the CW-verse in this film as well. So it's going to be a highly entertaining film. This is going to reboot the entire DC Universe. After this film, we will get to see what they're doing with the DCU. Hopefully, we'll get some hints as to where they're going forward with the DC, with the new DC Universe. But The Flash comes out to us in theaters on June 16th, 2023. This summer is going to be so hype. I can't wait for movies for this summer as well. Moving on, Aquaman 2 is debuting in theaters on December 25th, 2023. Not really excited to see this movie as well. I'm probably going to skip out on this movie because of what happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I just really want to skip out on this film, and obviously it's going not going to be a very good film. So I may watch it when it comes out on demand, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and skip this film for Aquaman 2. Not really excited for this film at all. And moving on, what I am excited for, though, is Blue Beetle, which releases August 15th. 2023, we got the first official poster for this film back in, what was it, January or something? But it is obviously coming out to us in August. No, no, I don't really know much about Blue Beetle. Hopefully, it's going to be in the set in the DC Universe so we get some type of info on what's happening within the DC realm. But that is all for the upcoming movies from DC that are coming out this year. Moving on to DCU Chapter 1 which is Gods and Monsters. So, for the first project that James Gunn has announced is Creature Commandos. It is a seven-part animated series about a team of monsters taking on a group of Nazis. Obviously, it looks really, really good from what I can tell. Some of the fan art has been amazing. I just can't wait for this show. I'm going to get HBO Max so I keep up with all the DC stuff, but that is Creature of Commandos. And... Another project that I am most excited for is Waller, which is a follow-up to Peacemaker Season 1 and will catch us up to speed on what's been happening with Amanda Waller since. Hopefully give us some hints as to what's happening with Black Adam and Dwayne Johnson's character. Obviously, she appeared in Black Adam as well. But Waller is doesn't have a release date yet, but it is looking like it is going to be a very fun, serious, and interesting series as well. Moving on is Peacemaker Season 2. We have no release date yet. This is going to be a follow-up to Peacemaker's cliffhanger at the end of Season 1. Going to be a heck of a show from James Gunn. Season 1 was a great show. And the Justice League also cameoed in that, but I think they're doing away with that. For now, Peacemaker Season 2 is also on the schedule for Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. Moving on is a film that I am super, super, super excited for. This is pretty much the start of the new DC Universe. It is called Superman Legacy. It is not going to be an origin story. It will be set. It will be directed and written by James Gunn. It's going to be one of James Gunn's passion projects. And it will be about Superman balancing his life with human and kryptonite. With his kryptonite and human backstories. So, 
It's going to show us his early days as a news reporter going to Superman. Hopefully, we'll get some origin story on that as well. But this is pretty much going to be the start of the new DC Universe. And I can't wait to see who they announce as the cast for Superman as well. We already know in a side universe, Michael B. Jordan will be Superman. But we are, we're not sure on what is going to happen with Superman Legacy. Who's going to be the cast? We will talk about my picks for the cast in next week's Monday videos. Next Monday's video, so stick around for that as well. But so far, there has been nothing of yet of cast announcements for Superman. It will debut in theaters in July of 2025. Moving on is Joker 2. Now, this is going to be a sequel set in DC Elseworlds. I don't really know about this film. I didn't see the first Joker, so I'm not going to say much, but it is coming out in 2024. This is going to be set in DC Elseworlds. Now, moving on to more of Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. This again, there's a show about lanterns. It will be about two green lanterns who are super, quote-unquote, super cops on Earth. That is what James Gunn said himself. It will feature Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart as their own takes on green lanterns. So, they're going to be basically patrolling the Earth and hopefully... Saving the city and earth from major major threats. We'll see what this shows about no release date given for this yet But that is all for the lanterns for now that we have on Moving on is the authority. I'm super excited for this film This film is going to be a kickstart to the DC universe. Hopefully it's gonna be a very very good movie It will bring rogue heroes into the DC universe pretty much like Marvel's Thunderbolts I mean it's gonna be if it's anything like Thunderbolts, it's going to be a heck of a movie. And the team, we all we know is that Amanda Waller is going to be in this film. And we know that the team will take on extensive measures to save Earth. So it's going to look like it's going to be a very, very rough movie for The Authority. But I'm super excited for The Authority and can't wait for DC. DC about to pop off, man, I'm telling you. Moving on is Paradise Lost. And it will return to the world of Wonder Woman on the island of Thermisa, I don't know how, to, how you say her homeland, and it will be show us the birth of Dana Prince, which is obviously Wonder Woman, and it is set before the events of the films. Obviously, hopefully we get a new Wonder Woman in the DC Universe. Gal Gadot is not going to be playing Wonder Woman in the DCU going forward, so Shazam is probably going to be a send-off for her. Moving on is one of my most exciting projects for the DC Universe as well. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Is The Brave and the Bold. It will introduce the new DC Universe's Batman. Robin will be known as Damian Wade, which is Bruce Wayne's son. And it and he is the son of Batman. So, this, this series is going to introduce us to the new DC Universe's Batman. And give us a setup for the future of the DC Universe with... Damian Wade taking on his perspective of Robin in this series. Can't wait for this series as well. The Batman Part 2 is also is a sequel to Robert Pattinson's Batman 1. Releasing in theaters October 3rd, 2025. Will be set in DC Elseworlds. Just going to be a sequel. Hopefully nothing too crazy. But the first Batman was really good. And I can't wait to see what they do with Batman going forward in the DC Universe. It's going to be one hell of a bride for DC and the Penguin series, and I don't know much about this, but it will be about Pharaoh's Penguin. That's all I really got to say. It's a prequel to the, it's a spinoff show from the Batman, the first film. But other than that, I really don't have anything else to say. Moving on, we have five more things. And one of them is an Arkham Asylum series set in Gotham City about cops and Batman. It's going to be another spinoff of Batman. Batman's going to try and save the city of Gotham. So hopefully that show is pretty good. I don't think it will be connected to the DC Universe in any kind of way. Booster Gold. That's going to be connected to the DC Universe. James Gunn announced this and his slate breakdown slash preview as well. It's about a character who is a loser from the future and ends up using future tech to come back to our timeline in the DC Universe to become a superhero. So everybody will respect him. This is going to be a fun show. I wonder who the loser is going to be played by in this show. We will see, though. Hopefully, we get some information about this show moving forward. Moving on will be Superman, or Supergirl, rather, Woman of Tomorrow. 
will be after it, this film will take place after her debut in the flash and we will find out the differences between her family and between superman now we don't know if cara dune is going to be in this film and we don't know if that's going to be her backstory but we do know that it will show us her the differences of what supergirl's life was like versus superman's life superman had family supergirl did not obviously we're seeing this in the flash supergirl is going to be obviously arrested for something and we're going to see what that thing was and obviously we're going to see how her parents treated her as well moving on two more projects announced by dc it is swamp thing and it is going to be the final chapter of final part of chapter one gods and monsters a horror and, a horror origin story for a popular comic book anti-hero so it's going to be about an anti-hero who's obviously a monster and he's going to be attack attacking a lot of people and it's the final part of chapter one which is fittingly called dc chapter one gods and monsters now, this project has be, been in the works for a while. This is the final one on the list. I don't know if it's going to be connected to the DC Universe. Hopefully, it is. It sounds super exciting. It is a Val Zod series. Now, this was originally a movie, but now it's going to be set into a series on HBO Max. It will be a multiverse African-American Superman played by one and only Michael Jordan, or Michael B. Jordan, rather. Can't wait for this series on HBO Max. It looks like it's going to be a great show. But I'm super excited for DC's Chapter 1 slate, which is called Gods and Monsters. We will talk about Marvel's upcoming projects in tomorrow's video. But let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments down below. We're going to get into detail about this going forward. going to post more consistently on this channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be Tuesday. And it will be Marvel's upcoming schedule for phase five and six and beyond. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.